Hello boys and girls, this is Mr. O, and you're watching Mr. O Reads Messages with Cats 2020 Roundup Edition. Alright, message number one comes from Aiden Zhang, or Aiden Zhang. Uh, he sent this on the 20th of October. He says, Mr. O, in your next Mr. O Plays video, uh, I think that Backgammon would be a good game to talk about. It is fun, luck-based, and includes some strategy. Aiden, I completely agree with you. I love Backgammon. It's one of my favourite abstract strategy games. You're right, it is fun, it is luck-based, but there is a bit of strategy. You choose which pieces to move. At some point, I'm thinking about doing a series of Mr. O plays about classic games like Backgammon, Othello, Chess, Drafts, Checkers, uh, all of those games, because a lot of them are really good. That's why they're classics. If you would like to uh, try uh, Backgammon, um, but you don't have a board, um, I recommend The Backgammon, uh, which is on the screen now. You can download it for free on your phone or on a Windows computer. Aiden also wrote me another message on the 28th of October saying, nice green screen effect in the scary Halloween game video. I like how you just casually take off your head. Also, when there was a shot of your head under your arm, did you use a mannequin? Um, I actually used uh, a cushion for the body uh, and a, another smaller cushion for the arm and just kind of wrapped it around me. But uh, I'm glad that you liked it. Thank you, Aiden. So this video, as I said in the introduction, is also a 2020 roundup. So I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, 2020 on YouTube for me. And uh, I thought I would start with the most popular videos this year. This is always kind of a funny thing for me because Normally my very old videos get the most views. Of course they have the most views because they're the oldest, but actually when I look at just this year, uh, the most watched video was one of my first ever videos, uh, which is the Did You Song, uh, the past tense song. Did you come to school? Yes, I came. Uh, 5,000 views for that one, which is really a lot for me. Uh, in number two, there was MTR Games Part 1. Number three was Mr. O. Reed's Geronimo Stilton. Don't know why that one was so popular. Uh, number four was MTR Games Part 2. Number five was Mr. O. Reed's Super Diaper Baby, which is a quick review. I didn't spend much time on that. I don't know why it was so popular. Uh, the next one was Miss Daisy is Crazy. This is one of my most popular videos ever and I have no idea why. I think maybe it's a set text in some American uh, school or something like that. If you have any idea why so many people in America are watching that video of mine, please let me know because I have no idea. Next, Silly Sentences with Mr. Adrian. Uh, again, this was a very low effort video. I, we just recorded it very quickly one afternoon. Uh, there's no editing, I just stopped and started my phone. But uh, it's nice that people still like it. Uh, I will try to have some more guests, maybe Mr. Adrian again, uh, in future Mr. O Plays videos. Uh, at number eight was Charlie and Lola uh, with Lauren Child. I'm gonna post the rest of that a workshop at some point. Uh, number nine was Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid, which was actually a video from this year. I mean, it was one of my first videos of 2020, and it has made the top 10 list for this year, which is very pleasing. Uh, and finally, MTR Games uh, Part 3, number 10. My next message is from frequent regular correspondent Ella Chan. She wrote to me on the 22nd of September 
of this year, she asked, what sports do you like? Me, I like skipping. Sport, you've always got to talk about what you like to do and what you like to watch. So in terms of what I like to do, I like swimming. In terms of what I like to watch, I like boxing. Recently, I also got into playing ping pong as well with one of the other teachers in my school. So uh, maybe I will talk more about ping pong in future. It's a very fun game, table tennis. Ella also asks, what instruments do you like to play? And she says, me, uh, I don't really like playing instruments, lol. Uh, well, of course I play guitar. I love playing guitar. I also love playing bass. I like playing piano, although I'm not very good at it. And of course I like singing as well. Hopefully more songs and guitar stuff coming uh, in 2021. My next message is from Javari, who wrote to me on the 20th of October and said, Hi, it has been two years since I last saw you. That's true. What is your favorite game? Mine is Fortnite. Hmm. <coughs> well, I've not played Fortnite although I know everybody loves it very much. The last game I played on PC was probably Tomb Raider. That's quite old now. Sorry, not a very interesting answer, but there we are. I will play Fortnite eventually and I will do a little reaction video to my first time playing it, I promise. Message number four is from Marcus Lamb, who is a, a former student of mine. Uh, he wrote to me on the 31st of October and said, Hey, Mr. O, I have been using your pink bookmark for more than one year. All right, first of all, it's purple bookmark, not pink, purple. Secondly, that's great. I'm so happy to hear that. Uh, I'm reading a book called The Land of Stories. The story is extremely interesting and I never get bored of it. Stay safe and best wishes. That is really wonderful. I'm so happy to hear that. Uh, I printed those bookmarks for my students, for students that have done very well or if I need to say goodbye to any of them. Um, I only printed two or three hundred, so they are a little bit exclusive. I'm glad, Marcus, that you still have yours. Keep on reading. Well done to you. I'm also really happy when students keep in touch. Uh, that's a really lovely thing to do. Uh, you can do that by sending a message to my website, mrovertoncom forward slash message or send a message uh, you'll find it there's not that much on my website so uh, if you are one of my old students please send me a message get in touch that would be lovely It'd be lovely to hear from you oh, it seems we are now mr o reads messages with a cat this is from david hh uh, who sent me this on the 13th of october and writes hello you've been hacked Now we have all the information about you and your accounts, all your logins and passwords from all accounts, history of correspondence, all files from your PC, text, photo, video, and audio files. Ch changing your username and password will not help. We will hack you again. Pay a ransom of $250 and you can sleep peacefully without, this is rubbish. This is what's called phishing. It's when people try to get your personal information. Uh, it's actually not true. They do not have my personal information. So if you get a message like that, don't open it, don't answer it. Just get in touch with a grown up and uh, you will be able to sort it out. Next message, number six. This is from Julia Chiron uh, on the 6th of October, 2020. She writes, Dear Mr. Overton, uh, just to introduce myself quickly, my name is Julia Chiron and I work for Edition Didier, an educational French publisher based in Paris. We are preparing a new collection of English textbooks and we would like to reproduce in a chapter entitled Meet Tom Gates, an excerpt from the video Mr. O Reads Tom Gates. Wow. The clip will be on the DVD. We would like to subtitle the extracts in English and put the script in the teacher's book. Please feel free to contact me for further information. Thank you very much uh, in advance for your help. Best regards, Julia Chiron. I'm going to be famous. The Academy Award for Best Picture goes to...
Mr. O. Reeves, Tom Gates. I'm extremely proud to have been asked uh, this. This is really quite lovely and uh, I hope that I will have some more information to share about this later on. Next, while we're on the subject of people around the world getting in touch and being part of uh, my YouTube audience, uh, I found the statistics for uh, views around the world. So how many views were from which different places? Uh, and I thought I would share them with you. Uh, in number one is Hong Kong, which makes sense. It's where most of my students are. It's where I live. And uh, in second place this year was the United States. 1,800 views from the USA. Uh, that is really wonderful. If you are watching uh, my Mr. O videos in the USA, especially if you're watching that uh, one about Miss Daisy is crazy, uh, get in touch. I would love to hear from you. In third place uh, is South Korea with 1,035 views this year. Uh, Annyeong haseyo, uh, very happy that uh, some people are watching me in South Korea. That was where I had my first teaching job, so I always have uh, very good memories of Korea. And uh, if you're watching me from there, send me a message. Smaller numbers now, but still interesting. We uh, In fourth place is Mexico. And in fifth place is Spain. So hola to all of those people who are watching me in Mexico and Spain. I would love to get a message from, from somebody uh, from one of those countries. Please do get in touch. That would be really wonderful. Uh, some views from Australia and Macau. And uh, in ninth place, we have Poland and 10th place, Lebanon. So, wow, it is quite amazing to me that people might be watching me um, in all these different countries around the world. If I haven't mentioned your country, then uh, uh, make sure that you uh, like and subscribe and watch a lot more videos and then you will come up in my statistics. Um, and wherever you're watching me from, please feel free to send me a message. I would love to know uh, who you are and where you're watching from. And Next uh, message is from Gabriel Chong or Gabriel Jong. 21st of December 2020. Uh, this is one of my students now. Hi Gabriel. Uh, he says, Hi Mr. O. Yesterday my sister and I went to a cat cafe. <laughs> Inside it there were 12 sleepy cats. Are there anything other than sleepy cats, I wonder? I tried to hug a sleeping cat and I used a laser to play with the other cats. I enjoyed it, but it is very far from my home. Cool. I'm glad that you did that. Uh, I suppose I've got a cat cafe every day of the week with my two. Um, yes, I have, which is very lovely. They're quite cold at the moment, which is why they've got a basket and a little blanket in there. If you do play with a laser pointer with cats, uh, make sure that you don't point it right at them. It can be very dangerous or at yourself. Uh, lasers are very dangerous for your eyes. So please don't do that. Only ever point it down um, at the floor. Next message is from another of my students, Ashvin Vedanarayanan. Uh, he wrote to me on the 13th of October 2020 and said, Hi Mr. O, it's Ashvin. Hi Ashvin. I really appreciate and love your videos, especially the rap battle one. Bye. Thank you Ashvin, that is a lovely thing to say and I'm glad that you like them and I know that you have been learning my uh, little Mr. O rap. Uh, well done for, for doing that. I had to have the words up in front of me so that I could remember, um, you know, so that I could sing along with it in the video. Speaking of which, uh, another message, this one from another Gabriel, this is Gabriel Wong, uh, who wrote to me on the 10th of October 2020. He said, Hi Mr. O, I am the boy who challenged you to a rap battle. My rap battle is here. It's me, T.W. with the ASP. We are content when you see that you have OK subs. We are how about thousands of views. They know from the USA to the HK. So, you rapped back to me, did you, Gabriel? I liked it. It was very nice. And I've had a few other people that have written uh, raps and, and given them to me as well. So, uh, yeah, maybe I'll do another rap in 2021. I must say I quite enjoyed doing that. And well done to uh, Gabriel Wong for making a video 
of his rap as well. I will link to Gabriel's uh, YouTube channel uh, in the description below, so make sure you subscribe to him. And in fact, make sure you subscribe to me as well. Uh, according to my uh, analytics for this year, uh, only 24.9% of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. That means my subscribers should actually be three times <laughs> what they are, which would bring me comfortably above um, a thousand subscribers. So please do subscribe uh, if you can. I just noticed that I still just have one cat, but it is the other cat. So, hello boy. This is the next message. In fact, this is the last message. This is from Grace Lowe, who wrote to me very recently on the 29th of December, 2020. I'm recording this on the 31st of December. She wrote, hello, Mr. O. During the COVID-19 pandemic, I watched many of your Mr. O. Reed's videos. Good, I'm glad. I really enjoy listening to you reading extracts from the books. Uh, I'm glad about that as well. Yes, the purpose is to give you an idea of how easy or difficult the books are and whether you might like to read them. I have read Sora Street, T-Rex in the Veggie Patch, Tom Gates and many others. I really like your Mr. O. Reed's videos. Thank you, Grace. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye-bye, Mr. O. Uh, P.S. What are your New Year's resolutions? Well, first of all, well done for reading so much, Grace. That's really wonderful that you do that. Uh, my New Year's resolutions. Well, I've got my personal ones, which tend to be, you know, eat more salad and stuff. Uh, but I also have some YouTube uh, New Year's resolutions, which I, not New Year's resolutions, but maybe some goals for the new year for my YouTube channel. Um, so let's talk about them. First of all, the number of videos. So last year, at the beginning of 2020, I decided to try to aim for one video every week, which is obviously 52 videos in a year. Um, I didn't do too badly. I released eight Mr. O plays videos, eight Mr. O reads videos, seven Mr. O vlogs, uh, six Mr. O gets it wrong videos, five Mr. O reads messages with cats videos, uh, not including this one, uh, four Mr. O shows you how, and one Mr. O explains, which is the toilet paper one. And the total uh, is 39 videos. Uh, which, if you're good at maths, is exactly three quarters of my target of 52. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's 75% is pretty good. I will keep aiming for one video a week. It's pretty difficult um, just finding the time to do it and working and stuff. My plans for 2021. Uh, so you can think of these as being my New Year's resolutions or just my goals for the new year. So my first uh, goal or plan for 2021 is going to be more songs on this channel. Uh, what I have learned in looking at my analytics for this year is that the songs are very popular. So if they are popular, I should probably try and do more of them. Uh, I have got lots of ideas for songs. Uh, they do take quite a bit longer to, to record this music and to uh, make the music video and put on the subtitles and everything, but um, I will really try to uh, do some more songs this year. More games, more Mr. O plays videos. Uh, it, <laughs> it took me a really long time to finish MTR Games 4 and I felt kind of exhausted by that whole process, although I do really love doing that. Um, I have I can see that some of the games, for example, Silly Sentences with Mr. Adrian um, and some of the other ones with Miss Jung um, have been very popular. So I will try to do more of them, more of the like gameplay videos. Um, it's been almost impossible to do that this year because of COVID-19. I haven't been able to sit down close to people who are not in my family and make videos and play games together because of social distancing. Uh, so that's unfortunate. The videos that I made with Miss Jung I recorded quite a bit earlier, uh, long before the COVID-19 pandemic. So 
fingers crossed, if I can, I will really try to do more gameplay videos with other teachers. Uh, I have got plans for other MTR games videos. Uh, I've got loads of poo games, more poo games than I really know what to do with, so I will definitely start doing them. And lots of pirate games as well. I've been collecting pirate games. So there should be some interesting series of Mr. O Plays videos uh, coming in 2021. The next thing, which is a real YouTuber classic thing to do, is to have merchandise, or merch as it's called on YouTube. Um, this would obviously be for charity. I'm thinking about maybe t-shirts that I could print or paint at home, um, bookmarks and other things like that. I'm not sure. If you're interested in getting Mr. O branded merch, then uh, do let me know what kind of thing uh, you would like and I will investigate how easy it is to produce this stuff. Uh, next, the next thing that I want to do in 2021 is more charity work. Um, I have, my channel has grown quite a lot. We're heading towards 500 subscribers, which is amazing. Um, it, this gives me the chance and the ability to raise issues and, and give some exposure to different charities. And maybe I can do some silly stuff for sponsorship to raise money as well. I'm interested in working uh, with Save the Children, um, Room to Read, uh, and also Bring Me a Book Hong Kong. I have already worked a little bit with these charities in different ways. I would love to do more work with them. Um, there is always stuff that you can do. There are always people who need a bit of kindness and help and care and support. So um, that's something that I would really like to do in the new year. And finally, uh, my plans for 2021 would be more friends, more collaborators and guests. As I mentioned before, I did some collaboration with uh, some other teachers, getting just getting playing games together and talking. Um, I really want to do much more of that. I want to uh, do music with my musical friends. I really enjoyed being able to feature authors like Lauren Child on my channel. Um, I would like to do interviews with authors as well. Um, all of this is really exciting to me. I actually have a local author uh, called Rachel Ip, and I will be featuring her um, workshop on my channel very, very soon. Um, I just need to finish editing that video. So yes, more of other people, if I can, if we can do it with COVID. And finally, my top 10 favorite things uh, from 2020, uh, on my channel. Uh, I had a, uh, it was difficult to think of these things. I know it's only 39 videos, but uh, there was really a lot in them and a lot of stuff I don't even remember doing. But here's what I got. Um, so my favorite video to make, uh, I actually cheated on the very first one in the list um, and chose two. Uh, my favorite videos to make were probably Mr. O plays Shut the Box and Mr. O plays Leo goes to the barber. I was very fortunate to have my friend, uh, Miss Jung, um, on the channel with me, make, uh, playing these games together. She was speaking in Mandarin and I was speaking in English. Um, that was really good fun and I want to do a lot more of that. No. <laughs> I, I absolutely don't Can remember. I check a little bit? No, because oh, that would be cheating. My favorite silly moment was dancing to the coronavirus song. Uh, in my video, Mr. O shows you how to wash your hands uh, without getting bored. Um, that was really difficult for me, learning that song and, and getting it right um, and getting it in time with the music. It took me a long time to get that, that one uh, little scene that you see in the video, but uh, yeah, that's good fun. My favorite introduction is probably uh, from why would anyone steal toilet paper? Uh, thinking of all the different names for toilet paper and trying to sound and look very excited about <laughs> toilet paper. Uh, that was made up my favorite introduction. Uh, my favorite special effect to do uh, was, it was the green screen special effect in MTR Games 4. Now this is a little bit of a cheat because I actually recorded that quite a long time ago. As you can see, my hair is totally different uh, when when I'm filming that um, but it was it was fun I, I had to plan out which direction I would be looking and what I needed to do and I had to pretend to 
duck under things or walk along. Actually, I was just walking on the spot um, in, the, in the same place all the time. And that was good fun, and I'm quite pleased with how it turned out. My favourite book to read, uh, a very late one, a late entry here, it was Ali Finkel's Rules for Girls, Glitter Girls. Um, I can't wait for the libraries to open again so that I can go and get the other books in that series. I really, really enjoyed that. I read it in one sitting. I sat down um, in a restaurant, as it happens, um, just to grab some lunch, and I ended up sitting and reading the entire book um, while I was there. I really, really enjoyed it. So my favourite joke in 2020 on my channel was uh, blowing a raspberry in Mr O'Play's Nim variants. This is a very serious French film from the 1960s um, and it was and it's a film that I really like and I've really liked for a long time so it was really fun to do such a silly joke in it um, and you know things like copying the the lighting and the the camera angle so that it so that I really look like I'm in the scene um, yeah it was it was really enjoyable to do that and it's a very silly joke. My favourite song to sing? Well I didn't sing that many songs in 2020 uh, so I suppose I should choose the rap battle but actually that was pretty fun to do. I rap in Hong Kong from Chung Kwa No to Tai O and Tai Po and Sai Wan Ho and Shek O and Lama Do and Up in Low. Woo. Um, it was one of the fastest songs I've ever recorded um, I didn't play the music, I got that from YouTube Audio Library and uh, the lyrics I wrote very quickly and I recorded it in maybe one or two takes so it was the quickest song that I've ever done uh, and it was good fun as well. Uh, my favourite music to play was uh, the heavy Chinese New Year music which you can hear now. <laughs> It was, uh, was good fun to play, fun to play on the guitar, it's quite simple and um, I think it came out quite nicely so I'm quite pleased with it. That was uh, featured in my Games to Play at uh, Chinese New Year video. So uh, check that one out because Chinese New Year is coming up again. My favourite place to visit was uh, in my uh, Dragon Boat Festival video. It was the Fisherman's Village in on Lama Island or just off Lama Island. Uh, amazing place, very interesting, and uh, had good fun making the rice uh, dumplings and uh, trying a little bit of dragon boating as well. Yeah, definitely uh, recommend that. And finally, my favourite Mr. O gets it wrong moment was probably uh, miss, uh, eat a noodle, a noodle instead of some noodles. Um, I do hear people say this quite a lot, and uh, so it's quite nice to. Um, you know, sort of correct that and um, have a, a little bit of fun with it as well. I'm sure that I make many, many more mistakes uh, when I try to speak Chinese. So uh, yes, this is all about everybody getting a little bit better, as everything is. So Christmas is over and it is almost the new year. Uh, it's time for me to pack up my Christmas jumpers, but how many did I use in this video? See if you can figure that number out. Uh, I'm gonna say goodbye until 2021 and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and all of that business and I really hope to see you or hear from you or perhaps entertain you in the new year in 2021. So happy new year to everyone and goodbye from me and my lazy sleepy cats.